kind of inspires confidence as soon as you get into it. And the steering is so positive that you just you have so much grip that you just want to go out there and push as hard as you can. For me, I mean, I was blown away just from the balance of the car and honestly the the drivability, how smooth the Honda engine is in it. I mean. I haven't been in many race cars where it's so quiet that you can hear the turbo build up pressure as you're going down the straightaway. And that's such a cool experience for a driver because you know how much power is being delivered every time you hit the throttle. Fun to drive, it, it's challenging in the ways that it needs to be to kind of develop you to the, get to that next step, whether it be F2 or, or other series. So for me, yeah, I think it'd be a great step to kind of get your way to IndyCar. You know, I, I drive a Honda Type R. So with that being the same engine that's in the F3 and then my uh, Honda Indy car is the V6 twin turbocharged, you can kind of tell the characteristics of all the engines. They all come from the same kind of heart, if that makes sense. Each have their, their own little sound to them that kind of brings them to that Honda family. So with the F3 car having the halo, you know, we've only seen pictures from side views. We haven't really got to sit in the car and, and see it from a visual perspective. And honestly, when I was asked the question about the Halo, for a minute I was like, what Halo? I mean, when you, when you get in the car, it immediately leaves your field of view and you don't even notice it on track because you're so focused right down the racetrack itself. So for me, it's much more of a, a visual thing when you're looking at the car from the outside. But as soon as you're strapped into it, I mean, you don't even know that it's there. 